What up guys, it's your boy Super and welcome back to Days Gone. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Okay, so we are heading our way to this mission. I don't remember what this mission is. I think this is the one where Ricky called us and we had to go catch a guy that ran off. Pretty sure that's the mission. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Oh, Ricky, you really are. Oh, shit, there he is. Oh, gotta hop out on the bike. I'm coming for you. Go to hell, bitch man. Come on. No, God, take it away. Aha! You're mine, bro. Oh God, you won't try to set me on fire. Stop the damn bike! Oh, he ain't got no more people. He's just shouting. I'm throwing Molotovs. Okay, yeah, he's got more people. No, not in the water! I'm gonna get you, bro. Hell with you, Saint John! Hell with me! Hell with you! Stealing seeds. What's wrong with you? Woo. How's it going, Lynch man? What is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? Off of me, you son of a bitch! I'm not even on hey, you. Hey, hey, listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds. Maybe we'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, suit yourself. Shoot yourself, you're just gonna stay there. Hey, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Five. Send someone out here to pick me. him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? Nope. No, no, I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Boss Lake out. Okay, so the next mission is, I remember. Okay, I was thinking about these ones in the camps. Um, I was thinking about just doing these. Um, off screen, because I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. You just want to see the main story so yeah I'm, I'm just planning on thinking of doing these off screen because I mean there's not it doesn't do anything for the story it's really just side quests for the camp basically to rank up your camp level so I was just, yeah I'm just gonna do those off screen see you lynch man Nitries! How you guys doing? Oh, you're all red. I don't know if that was blood or you got like frostbite or what. Don't think I've ever noticed that on those guys. Is that they're red until now? Oh, sh damn. There we go. I'm telling you that tiny little tree symbol trying to fly me off Don't yell at me sir Why are you guys always so angry 
all the time. You're so angry. Ow. Night cheese. Gas cans can refuel bikes and generators. Well, that's nice to know. I already knew that. Oh, Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. That's why I'm here. Of course, Deke. What'd you think this was for? Hey, St. John. They should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yes. Yeah, yeah, kind of I don't know how they're, like, how they're, do. like, don't see me. Get I don't know how. Researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Yeah, yeah, I already know, yeah, O'Brien. Let me know when the LC's locked This time, I need you to plant one of those spread out okay, and lock this shit down. Place a tracker. Okay, let's get the stuff. Sound up. Gotta switch oh, this raw. Just, uh, kind of clear. 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 Can't let him see me. All clear. Area's Something locked down. Boys doing here. Huh? You need to Go over there. The old Peltro Go over there. Station. He didn't see the sign says gas low. How are you feeling? I'm guessing you guys don't got it. Not it. Brian, tracker's set. Should be getting to London. Looks like a lot of freaks around here. Copy that. Yeah. See, I don't know how they don't see me right there. I think I would have saw the guy run around. Yeah, you're welcome, O'Brien. It's either snowing or it's raining, so you're not wrong there. We've now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What's that called again? Not crazy willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. How'd they not hear me get in the trash can? Well, don't miss. A crazy willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. Nests. What do they build? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that. I mean, we never see them or wild animals when we build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You finished? I'm sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Just ask it. Ah! Oh. I thought I could go in there and go out that way, but I guess not. That didn't work. Search ambulances for useful healing supplies. Yeah, I already knew that. No, 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 they can't. Including those at no, Marion no, no, Forks, can't hide Pioneer me. Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Not oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. What do they build? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them or wild animals when we build them. In trees or out in the wilderness only houses. You must leave yeah, the area oh. immediately or we will... So let me fire. get this straight. Let me get this straight. They don't hear me hopping into the trash can because that's pretty loud. But they hear me coming out of it. That makes perfect sense. I think coming out of it was a lot quieter than hopping into the damn trash can. It's over farewell. <laughs> that was a lot of goddamn freakers. Yeah. Here he is. We have now 2060. We have now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at 
those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, uh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. The yeah. Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You, you finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. That must be nice. Flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus and Brian. Don't I right. don't just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. Don't worry, Deke. They ain't gonna spot me. Those times they spot me were bullcrap. So I still can't understand the what sense the in that trash can. Got plenty of fuel. I double checked. And Harry's big day. I got a job for you. Oh God, who is it? Well, hey, Ricky, we're gonna. You send some men to go out and get him. Yeah, this he's a lot more yet. cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if he didn't tell him where the seeds were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. <laughs> yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. See you, Ricky. <gasps> Iron Mike would be pissed. He'd be like, Dick, why'd you leave that guy out there? You guys supposed to leave the guy out there, Dick. Dick, Brian. why'd you do that, Dick? O'Brien, oh, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. Uh, O'Brien? Oh, oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. So am I, Dick, but you don't hear me complaining. Oh. Heard you track down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike, I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a trial. You'll get a chance to tell his side of it. That's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. Got it <laughs> you just can't have that old stuff in this new world, man. It's just not. It's not gonna work out. People have adapted to this new world. Hey, why are you picking on my bear friend? It's okay. You guys pick on each other. I don't. I really don't want to deal with that. Really don't want to deal with that. I, mean, I wish I could use Dietrich in town. That'd be gnarly. Ow. I thought I could go around the tree. Guess not.
Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. It kind of does matter. Seriously, where are we headed? Yeah, because I really need to Ricky, know. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. I'm coming. About how if we seal the Ricky, caves baby. here, we can stop the hordes. Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Mm, I'm not sure what I wanted you to think, Ricky. But don't get the wrong idea, girl. Come on, Ricky, baby. I'm following you. Are we going to have to get power back See, on? A few weeks way? back, we lost a man when this went down. Shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God. Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shh. Okay, good. I'm going to go grab some of the guys nope. that can ride. No, you're not. Now we're going in quiet. We're running the Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no. We're doing this my way. He has a point, Ricky. More men you bring, Shit. the more attention Fine. you draw on okay. us. Let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh, from the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. What a sweetheart Ricky is. Thinking about the infirmary first. Aw. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. I don't know if that was supposed to be insulting or not. But geez, Ricky. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true, 
We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, Q and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. I just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is. But we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. He just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky, nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no. No, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. There could be anything living here. Anything. Which makes it dangerous. Well, it looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if yes. we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. I hear newts. I don't like it. I hear newts. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. Alright, come on, I want to check something out. I'm following you, Ricky. Calm down. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your horses, lady. I know there's people here. Or zombies. One of the two. Because I hear newts. I'm gonna grab some some of uh, ammo real quick. Yeah. Okay. Where you at, Ricky? Oh, you're over here. Where are we going? Where are we going, Ricky? Yes, yes, it will be. Come here, touch this. <laughs> Come on. Okay. You... Hmm. you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Where up you at? Way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Really? Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pen stuff. 
Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad? Brothers? No. Come on, over here. Alright, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's now or never, let's go. Looking at her like this, idiot. Yeah, it's it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. J j see if it's vibrating at all. Okay, where's the stairs? Ah, found the stairs. I'm going, Ricky. I'm going. Turn to Ricky. Ricky, it's vibrating. I think you did a good job. I think you did it. Ha <laughs> ha. You feel that vibration? Damn, she got dressed yeah, fast. but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on. Let's check out the transformers. Lead the way, Ricky. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Damn freakers. I bet your brothers and dad would have been dope, Ricky. Because you're dope. What's going on? Hmm. Well, these are the ones feeding the lines going south. Alright, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay. All right. I'm just following you because I have no idea what I'm doing. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. <laughs> Here, boost me up. Let's go. There's no barbed wire on that shot? Okay, oh, I guess there isn't. There. You'd think they would barbed wire the whole thing. Come on. Junction room's right around here. I'm coming. Oh, there's going to be nests here. I already know it. Oh, God. What is that smell? Freaker nests. From the smell of it, more than a couple. <sighs> Stay close. Do I have any Molotovs? How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. I've got two. Okay. So now Remember I got the three. drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Pulling out my rifle. I have better accuracy with the rifle, anyway. 
Which way are we going? Which way do we need to go, Ricky? Which way do we need to go? Light her up. Where? Where? Oh. Did I come? Ready. Come at me. I know more is coming. There's no way there aren't. That was pretty loud. What's this? Alarm clock. Bottle. Light her up. Alright, Ricky, where are we at? Ready? Oh, Come at me, freaks! Oh, Ratty, I'm sorry! I mean, Ricky. I don't know why I called Ratty. Nice. I gotta reload. I know there's more than that. There's gotta yeah. be more than that. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. <sighs> I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deke. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. He just, uh, he never mentioned them before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's, uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. Uh, no, hey, hey! Come on, we gotta get moving. That's not fair, Deke. You know that's not hey, fair. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <sighs> was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. <sighs> God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> Deke, Where come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night. And I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, D. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, I'm not back. This isn't what you think it is. Okay. Uh oh. Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Cab. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Come at me, rippers! Stay put. Get the gun down. Stop. They got a sniper, really? Oh! Get him Damn it. You assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? Ow! Watch it 
dragged your asses back to Iron Butte to find the shithole you crawled out from. Yeah, get out of here. She's not belong to you. We're not gonna listen, Ricky. We're not gonna listen. Far north, aren't you? I don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Carlos is crazy. Shot. Nope, no, but it still ended up killing him. Oh, we just leave you here to clean oh, up, huh? God. Fix out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? He ain't dead. But thought he ain't gonna die that easy. Just die, dude. Do this to you, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. You want to fight fire with fire? I just pulled out my machine gun. I think that's the last of them. We gotta get out of here, Ricky. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Do you think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the Rippers, before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. I hear a lot of freaks. We better get out of here. Like, pronto. Okay, I'm following you. Hey, I gotta ask you something. Could I stop you? How'd you end up at the MC? It's a long story. We got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU 23s, modified anti aircraft guns. Big guns? Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. If 
by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, uh, Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack, and uh, he ran the club, the uh, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. I remember Boozer talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys. Sounds like it, huh, Ricky? I think there's more to that story, though. I feel like there is. Oh, shit. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay. But I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant were colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just, cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well, Let's just say that it's one... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what, hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. They're not just hibernating in caves. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hmm. I don't think Deke wants to tell you what he knows. He can't. Because I think he would interfere with trying to find Sarah. He did. Runners are scary, man. They're crazy. I hate runners. Oh, load faster. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deke, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be 
Be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no! What is your problem? I just said, I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? Addy is pissed! Ricky, you pissed off Addy! Addy is so pissed! I used to be a cop. Learning our key. Farewell. Drive to location. Training equipment and all. Well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that share button. It'll help me out greatly and it helped grow my channel. Yeah, it's too bad. Speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. Okay, now to get back to what I was saying since Deacon rudely interrupted me. She killed a man. Taking his groceries. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that, that share button. It'll help me out greatly. Help grow my channel. Without further ado, Super is out. Peace.